Since Easter is coming up, I thought it would be fun to do a still life. Let's check out what we will be painting. Hello everyone and welcome. Happy Easter. I don't know about you guys, but this is one of my favorite times of year. It's spring, Easter, the flowers are starting to bloom and blossoms. And for me, it means rebirth or starting new and fresh. I have a neighbor who I get fresh farm eggs from, and I thought it would be a fun idea to do a still life painting of them. I have a friend whom I've seen create egg paintings before, and I always thought it would be so much fun to do. She is using oils and is amazing. I will link her website below so you guys can check it out. I thought this could be a fun painting to put in a kitchen. The original as well as prints will be for sale and I will link the website to those in the description below. I hope you check it out. And don't forget to subscribe and to give it a thumbs up if you like it. This really does help me out. Let's jump into the setup for our painting. Even though farm fresh eggs can be left out of the fridge for prolonged amounts of time, I would be having them under lights that get pretty warm. And I didn't want to ruin the eggs in any way. So I set up an area and did a still life photo shoot instead and I will be picking one of the pictures for our still life painting. I used a spotlight and dark background so I have some nice shadows and highlights to work with. The fun thing about farm eggs is that they come in many different colors and shapes and sizes. You can use your own eggs and props to try this with me, or you can use one of my reference sketches or photos, but they're for practice use only. I will link them in the description. This still life is going to be a study for a much larger painting that might be loose or more detailed. I haven't decided yet. Either way, it is a wonderful way to practice and get ideas for what works and understanding the flow of what you want for your painting before you use a large piece of paper. You get to work out all the details and the problems that might arise here so that you are more prepared when you get to your large painting. As I was painting these eggs, I was thinking about the origin of eggs for Easter. Why do we use eggs in our celebration? So I looked online and found some really cool traditions from different cultures, and I thought I would share them with you. Eggs are an ancient symbol of new life or rebirth. In Christianity, eggs symbolize the empty tomb of Jesus from which he was resurrected. And in ancient times, the tradition of eggs being stained red to represent the blood of Christ which was shed. But the custom of staining eggs can be traced back to the early Christians of Mesopotamia, and then spread to Russia, Siberia, and later into Eastern Europe. Painted eggs were also placed in the graves of ancient Sumerians and Egyptians 5,000 years ago. It may have also merged into the celebration of Lent as it spread through Europe. Eggs were originally forbidden during Lent, as well as other traditional fast days. Now, because the chickens would not stop producing eggs during this time, the supply of eggs would start building up toward the end of the fast. This surplus of eggs would have to be eaten quickly before spoiling. So many eggs were boiled or cooked in a special meatloaf with eggs inside it, and they would be eaten for Easter dinner. In the Orthodox churches, the eggs are blessed at the end of the Paschal Vigil by the priest, then distributed to the faithful. On the second Monday or Tuesday of Pascha, there is a memorial and then people bringing decorated eggs that have been blessed to the ceremony to bring a joyous Paschal greeting that he is risen 
to their loved ones who have passed on. In Greece, the eggs are dyed with onion skins and vinegar on Thursday, the day of communion. They also bake soreki, and painted eggs are served along the center line of the braided bread. The tradition in Egypt is to decorate for the Sham el Nisim holiday, which falls after the Christian Easter. Dyeing eggs is achieved by using natural and artificial methods, then hidden for children to find or rolled as a way to symbolize the stone rolling away from Christ's tomb. I know there must be many more traditions from many other countries, cultures, and religions. I would love to hear about all of your traditions, or if I made any mistakes in my research, let me know in the comments below. I really would love to hear from all of you what your traditions for Easter time are. If you like this video and would like to see more, consider subscribing to see future videos. For the rest of this video, I thought it would be fun to turn on some music and hope you can relax and enjoy the rest of the painting. Talk to you soon. Love
I hope you all enjoyed coming along and painting with me. If you guys did do a painting of your own, I would love to see it or see some of the different setups that you guys created of your own. What are some other still lifes you guys would like to see, whether it be with fruit or jars or a mixture of different objects? Let me know in the comments below what you guys would like to see me do next. If you haven't already, don't forget to subscribe and to click the like button and to hit the bell so you can be notified when I upload new videos like this one. It really does help me out and I hope to see you guys in the next video. We'll talk to you later. Bye!